I feel like I have a bigger purpose that's bigger than this business to tell these stories um, that are burning inside and that tend to center Black women. So that purpose is what creates an urgency and a mission and a drive for me. For me, it just helps to establish the priorities for my career. When I start out my day by working on my own projects, that tells me something about what the priorities are um, before I'm able to like go into work or give of myself to um, you know, my job. I've gotten my projects out of the way. Um, so it's really just important for me because it helps with that momentum and keep things going. I like to have my yoga or workout and meditation time. And then I typically work from 8.30 to 10 on whatever I'm writing in the moment. And then I go to work in the grades room from 10 to four. If I don't have a class, I usually do like a 5.30 to eight or six to eight shift um, doing additional work. Um, and then I like to like read or watch a movie or something like that. And then I also work on the weekends a lot, which I'm trying to be better at. Uh, that's more normal, but sometimes you just have to, you might have to pull longer hours or whatever in order to make deadlines happen. But when I try to be disciplined and do deep work and be smart about how I'm touching projects, um, I'm able to get a lot done. I usually recommend a portfolio to have two specs. So those are uh, scripts of existing shows and there's always debate on whether people should write specs, but regardless, they're still great activities because essentially as a staff writer or writer on a sh show, you're writing specs. You, your job is to write in the voice of the showrunner. So the more that you can practice that, the better. And then uh, two original pilots in the length that you want to write in. And if you want to write in half hours and hour longs, then have samples in both of those, at least two original pilots. And then like a feature, if you want to write in feature space, and then a wild card, a short story, a play, um, whatever the case is. But you want to make sure that you have a portfolio that is tight, like those samples are tight and ready to go. They've been vetted by other people who are not your friends to have a really tight package across the board. So a really well-written script and spec or whatever they're asking for, but then also pour in the same sort of energy into the bio and the essay questions that they ask because they're equally as important. And then I would say, especially for us writers, there's usually some sort of interview component if you move forward. And a lot of us still, you know, our social skills just aren't there. We don't know how to present ourselves. Um, so I think the more that we can be comfortable uh, with what, what essentially general meetings, right? Essentially being able to build rapport very quickly, essentially being able to present ourselves and who we are very fast, getting comfortable with those things and being comfortable about talking about our work, I think goes a long way because essentially that's what you'll be doing for the, <laughs> the rest of your career. I definitely recommend preparing pitches. Chances are you won't be asked <laughs> that, but you might, you know, and I recommend preparing character pitches, preparing thematic pitches and preparing like overall story pitches. It's really about brainstorming ideas on what could be interesting for a character to do or, ch or how a character could change or how a character could surprise us. So that's a lot of sort of the ways that I think about character theme is like, you know, what could this season or part of this season deal with that might be relevant to what's going on now or might be relevant to the characters. Um, and then um, overall story is like overall plot points. Like, you know, I want this family, I want this family to go through a loss.